I'm using the word of the day. I hope I'm not going to be a cadaver, a laughing cadaver. Thank you. <laughs> Good evening, Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and most welcome guests. Long time ago, I was a very adventurous girl, and I've always wanted to learn other languages, to get to know a lot of people. People always interest me very much because we cannot always learn from everybody in our past. Also, I wanted to know other cultures, and I was very lucky years ago with three friends from uni who to come and visit Europe. While we came to Europe, we visited Spain, France, Germany, Belgium. Scandinavian countries, and in the end, our last stop before returning back to Colombia was England. Well, that was my last stop in my journey. So I had two weeks here to enjoy the pleasure of sightseeing and getting to know England in two weeks. Well, London. We, we ended up in, England, in London, sightseeing, visiting places, going to Windsor, Hampton Court, House of Parliament, everywhere. Wherever I went, I found it very interesting. And the more I saw places, the more I wanted to see England. Just before I went back to Colombia, a friend came and said to me, there is a lady who's got three kids, and she would like, she's looking for an au pair. Would you like to stay here? Not only you will get money, but you will live in the home, in the home and you will learn the language. So you can stay for six months. I thought, yes, that's a good opportunity. So I turned my ticket back to Colombia, and I thought, yes, I'm staying in England for another six months. Here we all go. I went to work as an au pair, three little children from seven to 11 years old. But then something nagged me inside saying, you have to learn the language. How are you going to communicate with the children <coughs> when you don't know English at all? I thought, well, there must be a way that I can talk to children and make them understand me. Then, thing, something clicked in my head. And I thought, a bribe. Bribe would go a long way everywhere in any country. Most of all, with children. I said to the children, if, you, if we play now and then, teachers and students, I'll be your student and you'll be my teachers. At the end of the day, I will say who was the best teacher. And that person will be able to get the hand in this pocket full of sweeties and take the best of it. So imagine the children's faces. Wow, that was music to their ears. And they thought, yeah, when do we start? So off we went, we, after school we came and we played. We continued with doing that. One day, I was doing a big girl's hair. <coughs> I'm trying to comb her hair. And she, she's sitting at her dressing table. And I'm combing it. Suddenly, she started saying, Cecilia. Cecilia's combing a big girl's hair herself. And I thought, what's she talking about? I didn't know what she was saying. Then she said it again. Cecilia's combing a big girl's hair herself. And I went like this. So then she said to me, Cecilia, come and sit here. So she sat me there, the dressing table, handed me the comb. Then she hold my hand and put it here and she said to me repeat i went yes repeat cecilia is combing her hair she said no i am combing my hair so i went i am combing my hair i am combing my hair suddenly the penny dropped I thought, I know what she means. Right, here's the bag, whatever you want, they're all for you, right, whatever. And we continue like that. And let me tell you, the children are the best teachers in the whole world because one, 
they don't get upset if you don't get it right. Even if you're thick, they still tell you about things, you know. Somehow you will learn it. And thirdly, benefits both of you. You learning and them getting the sweets. So, plethora of benefits. <laughs> yes? While I was taking the children to school, I made this noisy parker at school. Somebody well off, living on her own, rich husband, but work abroad, and she didn't have children. She didn't have anybody to talk to, but just going to meet people outside. And she got talking to me, and I thought, mm, she wants to know too much from me. Well, I'm going to turn it the other way. She wants to converse, I always converse with her, but I'll be doing the questions this time. So we went, she took me for coffee, we went, had a coffee, and then she said to me, Cecilia, my sister-in-law is a nursing officer in a hospital in Epsom. Why don't you go? You will be earning about 10 times the money you earn here. You will be living in the nursing home, very cheap. And thirdly, there is a big college next to the hospital where you can go and learn. That's what you want. I thought, right, this is me. What do I have to go? Where do I go? She says, go this, give me the, the, the address. I went, and the same day that I went, I'm talking about 1974, I got work permit. In those days, you went to a police station, they stamped you, your passport, and I had six more months to stay in England. I thought, God, this is great, and I'm going to get more money, and I'm going to learn my language. Great. So off we went. Little did I know that that day I started my life in England. But I didn't know. The person in charge of the nursing staff was Mr. Clifford Whitley. Voila! And here I come. And I didn't know that Cupid's bow was entering his heart the minute he saw me. Then, after going out a few months, almost a year, he only asked me to marry him, oh. which I did. <laughs> the conclusion of the story is that last year, last year we, we were married 35 years. The same man in Epsom, that's him. And we have two lovely children. The both born in England. I've learned so much about England. I love England more than ever now because he gave me the best man that I could have found. Well, sometimes. <laughs> but <laughs> the best children that I could wish for. And the best friends that I had. Because all my childhood friends are back in Colombia. But now, I, Clifford and I, we're hoping to live a healthy and active life. And we're looking forward to have our grandchildren. But hopefully, I don't think it's enough, but we will have. And then we will give them our experience and give them our love and all the good things we have learned throughout. Toastmasters and meetings at the lovely.